Hello everyone, this is Sobik and you are watching College Level Physics. Today I am going to give you a brief review about the book Introduction to Special Relativity by Robert Resnick. And as you can see, this is illegal for sale in USA. That is, it is a South Asian version of this book. That is, it can be sold in India, Bangladesh, Nepal, Pakistan, Sri Lanka and Bhutan. So, let's see the contents of this book. So, as you can see, the first chapter is the experimental background of the theory of special relativity and it contains uh, Galilean transformation, Newtonian relativity, then electromagnetism and Newtonian relativity, then michelson mole experiment, lorentz Fresnel contraction hypothesis, then the ether drag hypothesis, modification of electrodynamics, then the postulates of relativity, and then Einstein about some uh, concept of relativity and the origin of it. And then it contains a chapter to relativistic kinematics, which contains the relativity of simultaneity, derivation of the Lorentz transformation equations, then some consequence of the Lorentz transformation equations that means uh, time dilation and length contraction, and then the observer effect in special relativity then the relativistic addition of velocity then doppler effect in relativity and then the third chapter is relativistic dynamics which contains mechanics and relativity then need to redefine momentum and then relativistic momentum then alternative views of mass in relativity that means how the mass is varied in relativity and then the force and dynamics of single particle the equivalence of mass and energy that means equal to mc square relation then the transformation properties of momentum energy mass and force then the fourth chapter is relativity and electromagnetism which have the interdependence of electric and magnetic field then transformation for u and v for and then the field of a uniformly moving point charge then yeah, you can see the maxwell's equations and are some limitations of relativity then there are supplementary topic like geometric representation of space time then in space time diagrams simultaneity contraction and dilation the time order and space separation of events that means the causality principle then the twin paradox how it arises and the diagrams of it and then the principle of equivalence and general relativity where you would get four vectors and so on then there is a respective general relativity. So that is the main concept of this book. Now I will discuss the chapter. The first chapter, there are some introductions. Why do we need to do this? I come to my Diagrams here also, and also uh, elaborately present the topic here, which is Galilean transformation. Then the Newtonian relativity, that means position, and there are velocities given here, and then uh, the acceleration somehow. There are also examples, solved examples given in this book. As you can see, there are the acceleration, the invariance of it, and then there are lots of words written about this formulas, so you should go through it. Then again, some examples. Then begin here, example. Then some proofs. How did we arrive at those equations and the invariance of position, and then the electromagnetism Newtonian relativity how are they related then the attempts to locate the absolute frame that is michelson mole experiment which is fantastically explained in this book with the pictures included and also 
the derivations are given in this book. So if you are a beginner and know nothing about special theory of relativity, then you should go for this book. This will be very beneficial for you. And there are, as you can see, lots of pictures which will be helpful to visualize and imagine the special theory of relativity. Then Lorentz Frisier contraction hypothesis, proof of it, and then some examples are also given here. Attempts to modify electrodynamics. Then the postulate of special theory of relativity, which is a very important part. And that is beautifully depicted in this book. And now I am going to show you and here are some beautiful and crazy pictures of Albert Einstein. You will find this interesting. Here it is. Here are some questions at the end of this book, and there are lots of questions as you can see. So it will be very much helpful. And there are also some problems given in this book, and the answer of this problem are also included in this book at the end of the chapters or at the end of the book so here it is and also there are some reference given here if you want to know further and enhance your, your knowledge then you should go through this references and there are relativistic finalities and there are lots of other things present in this book and lots of problems are given in this book. So if you are really a beginner and want to know more about special theory of relativity, then this is a best book for you to begin with. And there is also another book called AP French. You can also buy that book. But this book is very basic. It is and it is a mandatory book for you if you are in your graduate study or BSc study. So that is for today. And oh, okay, I forgot to show you the answers of the problem. As I told you, the answers are present in the end of this book. So it would be very helpful for you if you have solved this problem and want to know the answers, then you should come to this pages and look at this. So thank you for watching this video. Hope this video will help you to understand how this book is. And also, thank you for watching this video. Take care and goodbye. And if you think this will help you in your near future, then you should definitely subscribe to my channel and like and share my videos. So, thank you and goodbye.